hello friends welcome back to my channel today we will talk about one of the very basic problem in report automation in any report automation project you would want to write data to the existing report and then name that report based on the current timestamp now we all love Alteryx and we know how good it is in doing report automation but it doesn't support this particular feature where you have to name the existing excel based on the timestamp so that's where we will have to use some third party tools and technologies here and today we are going to show you two different technologies which we are using one is we are doing it using bat script another one is we are doing it using python we'll show you which one is more cleaner way to do it first let's start with the bat script now on my screen you see this workflow where there are multiple components starting from the left this is input and it's a dummy input because every formula tool needs an input so that's where we have added it but there is no use of this particular input now in formula tool what we do is we create the file name which we want to finally write to and then a command which is a bash script command rename current file and then the expected file next is block until done now block until done what it does is it block the control so it would run this workflow sequentially from block until done first block one would run then second and third and then there is another block until done which would again control the, the sequence of the workflow now coming here there are multiple run tools added so what run tool does is it is calling those batch scripts and running it now theoretically what we are doing here is that we are creating the file names first we are calling first batch script which would basically copy a file from input folder to the output folder now second block here is is a export in a txt format what it would do is it would create that batch script and write that in txt format from the workflow now once that is written in txt format this part here would change that txt to the batch script and then the last and the fourth part would run that finally converted batch script now i will show you the folder structure which i am using this is the folder structure batch script is where initial batch scripts are kept input is the file which is placed in input folder output is the file where where that output folder is where that input file would be moved these are workflows batch workflow and python workflow which we are looking at right now now going back to the batch script so first of all this copy file batch script is running what it does is robocopy whatever is present in input, input folder to the output folder so currently we have file.xlsx present in input folder that would be moved to output folder once that is done one txt file would be exported to the output folder with the command which is basically rename now third part is where we change the txt file to batch script fourth part is where we run that batch script now i will run the workflow and i'll show you how it creates a file in output folder and this run file name dot bat I, i'll show you what is present in this particular file i'm running the workflow now you see it is calling command line you can make it you can you can basically make it run silent as well but i'm i have not done that now i will go to the output folder you see here test 10 october 2020 so this is the file name which we are creating so what it did it copied file from input file and then named it as test 10 october 2020 now this file name dot bat is something which which was created on the runtime and if you see it it is rename this file dot xlsx to this name so this is how you can move files from one folder to another folder call batch script into your workflow and name that file based on your requirements in this run run section output and input are kept just for the 
sake of keeping it but actually it is running whatever is present in this section command section all right now we have looked at how we can do it in batch script now let's look at it how we can do it in python script what i will do is i'll go to output folder and i will clear whatever is present here now your output folder is blank you just have file.xlsx in your input folder coming back to the workflow again this one is is a dummy input we just needed for formula tool formula tool is still same we are creating a file name here and there is no rename batch script just the file name now next is block until done just to make sure that everything is processed till here when it is going to the python tool now we go to the python tool and 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 to the people who are new to this you can just search here python and drag and drop this tool this is the python tool okay now here first of all in python everything is done using packages so what we have done is by default altex packages imported and we are loading Alteryx dot we are using Alteryx dot read and one because one is the uh, one is basically the input which is going to the Python two and then print df and this data frame has basically two columns one is field one one is file name and next is we import shuttle so this is the package which would do file movement from one folder to another folder. Now this is file import path, file export path and this is bit of data manipulation. So from file name column we take unique value and from that unique value because it's an array we take first index and then that is basically test 10 October 2020. Now next is we append that name to the export path and we put the extension dot xlsx so this is the export path which is created now shuttle dot copy this is the command which would copy whatever is present in import path to the export path and then print copied just to make sure that everything is executed and it has reached to the end of the jupyter notebook now let's run it again showing you that there is nothing present in the output folder right now let's run it all right this is running and it has ran we'll go to the output folder and you see in output there is a file placed with the name test 10 October 2020. So what we have done is we have renamed that file from file.xlsx to test and then we had added the date stamp to that file name. And you see this is very clean way to do it because at time organizations doesn't allow you to call batch scripts in the workflow but Python they might allow and this is a very clean and and a very precise way to do it all right friends so we have discussed how we can move the files how we can call batch script how we can call python into the alteryx workflow in case you have any better way to do it do comment in the comment box thank you for watching and keep learning